say you're a step parent and you'd like to see the, the child that you are sadly not now living with, you can use the mediation collaborative options to help to establish some level of contact because the, the legal sort of test is if it is it in the best interest of that child and if it is then one would hope it would happen uh, it's if it's an important relationship for that child why should there not be contact between a step parent and that child yes there are sometimes situations where because it's not a as it were a blood relationship uh, they're not biologically the parent there is some negativity about it but it, it that the court system is, is looking past that. We're just looking at what's in the best interest of that child. Now that's a debatable subject and it does come before the courts. So you as that step parent would need to apply to the court, but you'd need what, are, what they call in court language, leave to do so. Which basically means you need to tell the judge why it is that you consider this is in the best interest of that child for the judge to say, well, yes, you have a case that is worth the court considering further and therefore the, the court gives permission for you to make that contact application even though you're not a biological parent. Same applies fun enough to grandparents, that's the same process. If grandparents needed to try to get contact with their grandchild, again that's a sad situation and if it can't be worked out within the family through mediation, through collaborative law, it, it, it comes back to the court. But the court would still require that grandparent to establish it is right to give permission for the case to proceed.